So uh, you're, you're a commercial pilot and what made you start a, a drone company? Like what was the, somewhat, was it a 3 a.m., hey, let's go <laughs> start this business and no, I presume you didn't know a whole lot about it at the time and no. you kind of had to find your way through it. So. I had to find a way through it. Um, it was, it was actually, I think I forgot to say, yeah, when Qantas went through that really bad patch, yes, so we were looking at, well, our jobs were kind of at risk back then. So we thought, oh, we'll need a backup plan. And right. a friend of ours suggested, like, why don't you get into these drones? Have you seen these things? And not really. I'd never flown a drone. I'm not a remote control background. So thought we'd give it a go. We bought this little toy-like thing and crashed it around the house everywhere. And <laughs> had to figure out how to- <laughs> Why to award yourself? Slight, slightly yeah. bigger than that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, because the, even back then, the drones were, and I, I, you guys probably can tell me. I remember back doing the CASA flight testing, mm-hmm. and you had to do manual flight, which was terrifying. <laughs> I remember you had to fly a straight line, and there was cones, and you had to fly around it. All with manual flight and switch. oh the atti the atti mode atti mode yeah, uh, yeah. Beyond, it goes beyond atti mode it's like acro mode oh okay. yeah it's full acro mode yeah, yeah. No so it was stay in that. position yeah so I remember because atti mode the throttle was at like fifty percent and that would be hover yeah full manual fifty percent is just fifty percent power so drop, <laughs> drop, 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 drop. Uh, um so Sounds yeah. Like we, a- Sounds like it was a lot harder to get your licenses back back in the day. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't watch that. I remember I think we went down to Queenby and they had a CASA delegate there that you do your flight testing. Nice. Um, so that was that was kind of once we got that, it's when we thought we'd make a, a proper business out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, it would just it just kept going and. It's been it's been good to have. Um, personally, I haven't I don't have a lot to do with Hoverscape day to day now. Um, Transpect sucks all of my time. <laughs> <laughs> I think the next question: well, no, do, you, uh, do you have any good pilots working on Hoverscape these days? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, hoping you don't say none. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> still looking. I'm sure. Got to throw him under the bus at some point. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha